Lesson 2.7, Different Forms of Numbers. We're going to talk about digits and number names and expanded form. We can write a three-digit number in different ways. And the first way is using digits. We have 235. And this is called standard form. A second way to do it is using number names. Two hundreds, three tens, five ones. We write each digit, then write its place value as words. A third way, expanded form. We write 200 plus 30 plus 5. We show the value of each digit as add-ins. The red 2 will have a different value if we move it to a different place. Here it's in the hundreds place. That's two hundreds. We can write it as two hundred. Here it's in the ones place. Its value is two ones. We just write a two. Now the red two is in the tens place. That's two tens. That's equal to 20. It has a different value if we move it to a different place. Here we have 612. That's 600s, 110, two ones. Here we have 427. That's 400s, two tens, seven ones. Here the two is two ones. Here the two is two tens. And the value of a digit will be different if it's in a different place. Other ways to write a three digit number are word form and quick pictures. 612 is 612 in word form. In quick pictures, we make six squares for 600, one ten, two ones. 427 is 427 in word form. Quick pictures, we make four squares for 400, two lines for two tens, and seven dots for seven ones. We can use a quick picture to show a number. We have 542. We have five squares for the 500. We have four lines for the four tens and two dots for the two ones. We don't waste time making a fancy picture. We just make a quick drawing. And we can write the number in different ways. We have five one hundreds. We have five hundreds. We have four tens. We have two ones. We can write it in expanded form. Five hundreds would be written like this. And four tens would be written like this. We have a four in the tens place and a zero in the ones place. And two ones would just be two. We can write it in standard form as a three digit number 542. Here we have a three digit number in word form 602. We make six squares for the 600 and two little dots for the two. We can write it here. Using number names, we have six hundreds. We have no lines for tens, so we have zero tens. We have two ones. We have six hundreds, zero tens, two ones. There are no tens. We can write it in expanded form as six hundred. We don't have any tens, so we don't need this here. There are no tens. We can take that away. It's just 600 plus the two ones. In expanded form, it's 600 plus two. We can write it as a three digit number in standard form here, 602. 
We have 602 in word form, and we can see there's a six in the hundreds place. There are zero tens and there are two ones. We write a zero as a placeholder to help the six and the two stay in their correct place. If that zero wasn't there, it might look like it's six and a two, like a 62. The zero between them helps us to know that the six is hundreds and the two is ones. We can circle tens to make 100. We have 10 tens, that's 100. And we have five tens left over. Then we can write the number in different ways. We have 10 tens, we have 15 tens. We also have 100 and five tens. We have 100 plus 50, we have 150. Here we need to circle the value or meaning of the red digit. We have 386, our red digit is the eight. Do you think the value of the eight is eight, 80, or 800? If you said 80, you're right. Here we have 297, the red digit is a seven. Is the value of this red digit seven ones, seven tens, or seven hundreds? If you said seven ones, you're right. Here we have the number 503, the red digit is the five. Is the value of this red digit 5, 50, or 500? If you said 500, you're right. The 5 is in the hundreds place. Its value is 500. Let's try some higher order thinking skills. So we need to think a little harder. What is wrong with this quick drawing? We need to fix the quick drawing. Our number is 523. Can you see what's wrong with this quick drawing? There should be five hundreds. There are one, two, three, four, five, six hundreds. We need to take one of the hundreds away. There should be two tens. I see three lines for three tens. We need to take one of them away. There should be three ones. I only see two little dots for ones. We need another dot. Now we have five hundreds, two tens, three ones, and our quick drawing is correct. So there are many different forms of numbers. We can write them using three digits in standard form. We can use number names and write their place value as words. We can do expanded form and write each digit as an add end. We can put it in word form. We could even do quick pictures. In our next lesson 2.8, we're going to do different ways to show numbers. We're gonna show regrouping. I hope I'll see you there, and I hope you're doing well, and I'm proud of you for watching math videos. Bye.